it's Cara here and I am so so mad and look I'm in a new room how exciting I finally moved house now my new sewing room is very small I was very lucky with my previous space I had windows and you know squirrels and oak trees and things so I do have a window in my sewing room but it is very small um, and uh, literally I'm filming out of the door in order to um, to get this shot in. So it's the first time filming in here, so I don't know what the sound's like or anything like that. Let's hope it all works out okay. But it's great to be back and I had a few weeks away from all this, so I hope I remember all how it all works. And I thought I'd share with you some of the things I've been making in a series of films over the next couple of weeks. I was prolifically sewing um, when uh, just before I was moving. Although all the house was packed up and everything, I can honestly tell you that sewing absolutely kept me sane. So um, that was my key focus for the last few weeks. And I'm so grateful my husband was patient with me and just allowed me to do that. Um, so I have lots to share with you. Couldn't put it all in one video, I don't think. It would be ridiculously long. So I thought I would share with you today um, something I've called All About Billy um, because Billy the sweatshirt and Billy sweatshirt and dress from Tilly and the Buttons um, as you know hit down um, late last year um, and I have made lots um, as have a lot of people. I haven't made as many as some but I'm going to share with you the journey of what, what I've made and it started here with this one. So this is the dress and I'm going to put a picture here somewhere um, of it because if I stand up my head disappears and you can't see the full length of it anyway. Um, this was the first one I made and I made it in a size 5. Um, I'll put my measurements up on the screen here so you can see that for reference. Um, I made it in a size 5 and actually it's a little bit too big. Um, it's made in this glorious cable knit, if I come right in, um, oh, actually you can see it better reflected in the light there, can't you? Um, glorious cable knit um, that came from Dragonfly Fabrics um, and they kindly gave this to me um, in exchange for a blog um, and it's featured a number of times on different things I've been doing um, over on their channel um, and their website, sorry, because I work there on a part-time basis as you're all familiar with. Um, but yeah, so I made this one. I absolutely love some of the features of this. I will stand up. I love the inseam pocket in here. I think that's a brilliant feature. Um, particularly in this fabric, it's very snugly and toasty. But I have sized down. The other thing I'm not sure about is it's very high on the neckline. Well, I say very high. It's a sort of, it sits where it should. But for me, it's a bit so. A couple of changes I've made in the next few ones that I'll share with you is I have sized down overall, so graded from a five to a four all over, and I have lowered the neckline a little bit. Um, I have gone with this standard uh, standard sleeve on this particular version, um, and I'm really glad I did because um, I used a remnant of this one to create my next version, which is what I'll show you now. So I'm getting used to my new sewing space. I just lowered the camera down a little bit so that I can get the sleeves in on this one. Now, there's many features of the Billy sweatshirt that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Those beautiful puffy sleeves, you've got a deep cuff, you've got a short cuff, you've got the dress, you've got the standard sweatshirt. It's the, the opportunity is massive. So I thought on this one, I would go for the big, the big sleeves. Now you're looking at the screen thinking, no, there's, some, there's no big sleeves there. There's a few creases in the shoulders going on. What's happening there, Cara? Now I made the sweatshirt out of this lovely fabric um, with the big sleeves, and I'll put a picture up here. Um, and I've got to tell you, I hated it. I just felt like something out of, um, either the 80s or, I don't know, uh, Victoriana. I just felt like I was in a costume. Now, I have seen hundreds um, of beautiful pictures of people with the, the big lovely sleeves, etc. Um, and I think I have chosen the wrong fabric to make that sleeve choice out of because it, obviously it's got a lot of structure. So nothing to do with the pattern at all, um, just me and my personal preference. Um, so then what does one do with a lovely piece of fabric, a nearly made jumper um, and shoulders that they didn't like? Well, 
you have a go at mashing it back into a standard shoulder instead um, and that's the result of this. Now I've got to say with the sunshine um, coming in here it is absolutely highlighting <laughs> the imperfections of what I've completed. It's not as bad as that in person but it is I was trying to ease back in, um, ease the big shoulders back into a standard, um, into a differently drafted shoulder piece. Now I know a lot of people have also done this, um, and so what I've done is sort of mashed it, if you like. Um, I will say this isn't my finest sewing, so I apologise for that. It also corresponds to the fact that um, I'm still having a love-hate relationship with my um, my sewing, uh, my my overlocker. I had intended to make all this on the overlocker um, and all it's done is mash it up in places so that's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> so a combination of a bad storm there really but nonetheless I have still worn this lot because I kept the volume, I hope you can see that, I keep, kept the volume in the sleeve um, so it's sort of inverted if you like. Now I know Angela from Dev Devon Threadtails has also done one, she sort of properly drafted it I think because it looks brilliant on her um, but I know she sort of experienced the same thing didn't like the big shoulders but liked the, the structure of the sleeves so I've kind of gone like that but mine was more of a case of oh I've got to change this I can't keep it like it so um, and yeah so but I do like it so it's got like big big deep cuffs there and big volume sleeves which is pretty cool and if I stand up it's it's the standard Billy sweatshirt um, length um, and it does actually blouse over the top a little bit, so on me it does, and some people it's sort of, I don't know if they pull it down so it sits like that, I prefer something to sit there, and I do actually quite like the blousiness over the top, I hope you can see that okay, this is my um, guinea pig video for the new sewing room so I haven't tested the sound or anything like that, I don't know what the sun looks like coming in here, but do you know what? I thought I'd just give it a go and sit back in the chair and <laughs> press record and be back with you all because I have missed being here very much. I was really nervous about filming again, really nervous about filming. Um, I, I don't know why exactly, but it's good to be back here. So this is the, the number two Billy. So it's, um, it is slightly smaller, but you can you lose that because of the bagginess in the shoulders here. You can see that I've lowered the neckline just a fraction to make that less so that it, was, it wasn't gripping me around the neck so much. So um, all in all, I have worn it lots. I do need to go back over and sort these bumps out. But what with everything else has been going on recently, I just didn't get round to it. So let me move on to some of the other makes I've made of the Billy and show you what I've been up to. So here I am back again, version three, and I think this is probably my favourite version, um, although I do absolutely love the dress, even though it's it's too big. I, I love them all, actually, for different reasons, and that's part of the sort of learning journey of making something new. But, um, so this this fabric was kindly given to me for, by Felicity Fabrics, the wonderful Caroline and Fliss. They gifted to, this to me back in late November, and I must apologise to them. Um, what with the move and bits and pieces, um, I made it and then got a date for moving so I couldn't get a video up to them and things. But um, So this fabric I don't think is, an, is any longer available, but they do have a wonderful selection of fabrics, so please, please do go visit their website if you haven't had a chance to already. This is a beautiful French terry, and I know they quite often have French terries of a similar quality to this, so I know you won't miss out. But it's beautiful, it's sort of a brushed, brushed French terry on the outside. Um, it's matte, um, and then on the inside it's white. Uh, oh, sorry, um, no it's not, it's, uh, it's sort of got the same design, similar, but it's just the reverse side on the inside, and it's very slightly brushed, and it's just the most comfortable fabric. Now this is a remnant because I made um, uh, a molly dress out of this fabric which you may have seen in a previous film actually. So I have had some footage out of this fabric um, but I, you know, I didn't feature it in the way I had intended as, as, the, um, as the vlog post should have been. So a beautiful Felicity fabric sweatshirting. I made the standard size, um, standard sort of, uh, sleeve size, sorry. Um, and as you can see, it fits generally overall much better. So this is a size four. 
Again, you've got that sort of blousy effect on me um, with the, the waistband there and then sort of blouses over the top, which again, I really like, but I think I could probably experiment with, take, with making it quite a bit shorter um, and then it would just sit more naturally where I like things to sit. But I don't know, I quite like the casual style of it. And actually, here's a confession for you. I'm not really a sweatshirt wearer, um, or I wasn't pre-Billy. Um, maybe it's a pre-lockdown thing. Um, I don't. I didn't really have a job where sweatshirt. <laughs> That's not easy to say. I didn't really have a job where sweatshirts were a thing I could wear that I do now. Um, and you know, the whole loungewear thing has been such a predominant thing in our lives. Um, so this pattern couldn't have come at a better time as far as I can I can see um, and it has been incredibly popular I know so yes very very pleased with this one um, and I have just one more version to show you so let me go and pop that one on so here we go the last version of my Billy collection for now because I am going to make another Billy in the future definitely as part of my wardrobe going forward and I am going to be brave enough to try um, the big sleeves in a slightly less structured fabric um, as I do like that look I've just made a sagebrush top actually um, I'm still not that sure about the whole shoulder thing maybe it's the big boobs big shoulders I'm not sure if that's a thing um, but I definitely like this style and you can see how well it sits on the shoulders um, it's slightly lowered neckline there and then oh what's this I've got new cuffs on here so this fabric um, is kindly given to me um, well I get I get paid by Dragonfly Fabrics to um, blog and vlog for them and as part of that they provide me with fabric to write those vlogs and blogs um, I'm not there in person at the moment so they're sending me fabric and I feature it um, which is really good fun and this this lovely is a um, material is a pre-cut um, cuffing now I've never worked with this before often seen it uh, on hab haberdashery sites etc never really known um, how to operate with it etc what I love about what happens with me and Derta from Dragonfly Fabrics at the moment is that she'll send me fabrics as almost in the surprise element um, and so when something turns up I don't know what I'm going to get um, I know YouTubers quite often describe how that feels when they get their So Hayley Jane box or the fabric of the dream wardrobe and so it seems it feels like a little bit similar to that for me with dragonfly fabrics although we've only done it for one month so far but until I can go back that's what we're gonna go gonna do but the pre-cut ribbing so I wouldn't I, I don't think I would have chosen this necessarily um, but I don't know why because it's absolutely lovely it's really easy to use um, and um, I will link to the blog post I've written for Dra Dragonfly Fabrics below because I explain it a little bit more but I also want to give a heads up to um, Lauren from Guthrie Garni who's just done the most brilliant video on how to use this. I can't replicate that at all, it's such a lovely video that she's done and I'll link to that below as well. She explains it better than I could ever but basically you would use the cuff piece um, uh, so quite often a cuff piece is a big rectangle which you would cut and then you would fold um, right, wrong sides together, well, so short, short ends together and then you'd fold it in on yourself um, wrong sides together to give yourself the cuff. Whereas with this pre-cut you literally sew the short ends together and um, Bob's your Birkin, you've got a cuff, which is brilliant. You can use it on a neckband as well. And in Lauren's video, she explains how you cut it down. I also explain that in the, in the blog post too. But I also used it on the um, waist here. And my lockdown belly on show there, sorry about that. But we've all got a belly of varying sizes. So this is such a beautiful color. Um, and again, you create the waistband in the same way. Use the same, the same, the pattern piece you would um, that's supplied in the Billy sweatshirt for example um, that will give you the length you need um, and I kept it to the full width of the cuffing so it's slightly different to the original um, cuff that's on the design but it works perfectly I didn't use it on the neckline because one packet of this uh, cuffing was enough for me personally to do the waistband and the wrists 
Um, I think I had literally about that much left over. Um, so you would need, in my experience, so I've made a size four, um, I would need would have needed two packs of the cuffing in order to, to create the, the neck band as well. But I like the contrast, so obviously I've gone for just a standard neck band that I've created out of the fabric. Um, and this fabric, oh, very fortunately my fabric choices this month. This is the organic brushed back French terry um, from Dragonfly Fabrics. Um, and they've got a lovely range of colours available. And this is the same softness on the outside as the Felicity Fabrics. It's just super soft, but it's thicker on the inside in terms of its brushed back. Um, I can show you that actually. It's just super soft. It's a bit like cotton wool, um, which is just, oh, it's been perfect, absolutely perfect in this weather. And I've never worked with this before. So I've never worked with brushed back um, French, ter French terry. I've never worked with pre-cut ribbing. Um, and the pattern is relatively new. So all that combination of learning has been really great fun. So I hope you've enjoyed me sharing um, a quick, 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 glimpse of my new sewing space. It is tiny. Uh, I'll give you a 360 tour one of these days. I've got some boxes down here on the floor that I want to clear up before I do that. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing my um, small Billy collection. Uh, maybe it's given some inspiration for what you might get up to yourself. Um, and then coming up soon, I've got, I have made a lot of things. Um, so there's some things I want to feature. I'm going to do a pattern review for the Tillington blouse by the Sussex Seamstress, which is just a lovely blouse um, that I've made. Uh, made a couple of those already. Um, and then I am going to do a blog on um, my recent makes. So yes, there's, there is more to come over the coming weeks now that I'm back set up and enjoying it. So behind the screen here, my daughter is making funny faces at me just to try and put me off my video, but she hasn't. Um, so until next time, please stay safe and well. It's great to be back and I look forward to sharing my makes with you in the coming weeks. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.